happening. Not you, Dad. You see, you're dead. And so you're saying that bomb went off in Ealing? Yes. Well, I was out uh, not long ago. We should go and help two aunties. Well, an auntie of mine. Yeah. Uh, help uh, clean, clean her house. It was only a little tiny house. And uh, then we were queuing up for fish and chips. And we heard this great noise, you know. And I walked, walked to the corner while Mum was queuing. Well, I didn't know whether it was our house, you know, and it was quite near. Yeah. Because I could see all the smoke and, you know, the, the thing. So we said we'd better get back to see if Dad's all right, because he's in the printer's next door but one. Yeah. So we did forego the fish and chips. Mum had made an apple tart, so that was all, that's all covered in dust when we got to back home. Oh. oh, and we could see the house was still there. And yeah. Dad was there, but mind you, it it just shifted the house. We had to have a girder put in oh. soon after. And yeah, the windows had gone upstairs, so so it was that close. It was that. Oh yes, it wasn't far. Yeah. Um, would it be hundred yards? A bit more than a hundred yards, I think. God. Not far. Isn't just it? a single bomb had gone off. Single. So I don't know now. I can't remember whether it was one of these that you don't hear coming, suddenly they yeah, dropped. Yeah, and, yeah, Because there was the doodle bugs and another sort, wasn't there? And I can't remember what the other one was. Yeah, the, well, the, the V1 and the V2. And, was that, so. Yeah, something like that, and I can't remember now, Neil. Yeah, yeah. So this, but this was before you'd gone to... I was pregnant. Oh, it's while you were pregnant. I was pregnant, yes. Oh. Uh, can you remember what street you lived in? Kirchin Road. Kirchin Either Kirchen or Kirchen. We Kirsch. said K I R C H E N. Okay. If you now pronounce it right, it's Kirchen, isn't it? Do you know which number it was? Six. Number six, Kirchen Road. Mm -hmm. And wow, so this is this way you're pregnant. You, you could hear the explosion while you were around the corner. Yes, we were, yeah, while we were queuing up for fish and chips to take in. Because our first thought was if, a, if the, our house had gone. Dad, my dad would have gone because his printers were next door but one. Oh, so the printers were in the same street? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Oh, yes, he could just go. He always, Mum didn't get up. He always got us, me up because I had to go into work first. Yeah. yeah. And can you remember what the, the um, printers were called? Was it his business? Uh, Perry, I think. Perry. Okay. I'm sure that's what the name was because they, they'd got a head office in Uxbridge. Now Muriel knew that, you see. <laughs> and so, so this this must have happened sometime between January and August 1944. 1944, yes. Oh and, and you said that when you when you were having Dad, you could see the doodle bugs when flying over. I was over. in the Charlotte's Hospital, having just had Dad, I could see them go over with this flame at the back, you know. Wow. Well, that would, I was a bit frightened then, but I'd be terrified now. Yeah, why Why weren't you frightened? Was I it just know. because... Well, I knew it wasn't going to drop on us then, seeing it go that way. Because your you, granddad and I used to walk up Kirshen Road, mm. and the, the shrapnel would be flying about. You hit the door across the road from Kirshen, because when you, your granddad left with his bike, he always put on his, hel his crash helmet, always. We were out walking, you never turn up, you know, never turn up here. It's just one of those things. You just when you're younger, you don't. You don't worry the same. You're not so nervous either. So I suppose you were about 20 at the time, 23? Well, no, time. I wouldn't be, no, because this was when I met him at um, before I was 21, didn't I? Oh, see, okay. Yes. Okay. Right. He wouldn't be. He wouldn't be in the RAF then at all. Right. Usually. Right. Okay. So he joined in. I can't remember I can't whether remember. whether what year he joined. Whether it was thirty eight or thirty nine. Okay. I can't remember whether he volunteered then. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been then. Yeah. So when you when you had that. That was in. Is it Charlotte Hospital? Queen Charlotte's. Yes. Queen Charlotte's in. Is that in Ealing? Or no. Um, it's in central London. Not, well, it's not far, was it? Uh, it's 
Stamford Brook, is it? Park, Stamford Brook. Around there. Oh, okay. in the, the stations to Hammersmith. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've, because they've just built, um, they've just built houses on it. Yes. Because Dad used to point it out. That's yeah, right. Yeah, in, um, yes. Near Shepherd's Bush. I had it? to go there, you know, and check up. Yeah. That was your granddad organising that, and he got all the got things from for a pram and things. He did all that. Yeah. Organised all that for me. Yeah. I think he sorted out the Queen Charlotte's. Oh really? Mm. I don't know how or why now. He probably told he told would tell me at the time. Yeah. I, I, I can't remember those. You couldn't use his office, sir. Uh... I used to think I'm all right, so that's <laughs> naughty, isn't it? I'm all right, Jack, so I won't worry about anything else. So I say I must have been very selfish. Well, I don't know, you've just got to... Um, but young, young and stupid. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, everyone's just, you've just got to concentrate on one thing, thing yes. you know, if, if it's not working then you <laughs> fix it, but, uh, oh. So that's my life. And then, and then what happened then? So you, you, you had Dad, and were you living in... We still Kirchin live in Road? there, we could, yes, we could still live in there, I think they came and repaired the windows quite yeah. quickly then. Yeah. So your married life, though, was basically at, at your mum and dad's yes, to start yes, with. Yes, I was like that until your dad, your grand, grand, grand came home. Right. Did he, was he able to visit much in the first year, or...? Well, he stayed there with me, with mum and dad, until he decided we ought to go over to Greenford and live there. So we lived there, yeah, we moved over to there. Was that after the war that you moved? Yes, it was after the war. Okay. When, when your granddad was home. Yeah. Came and stayed for a while, and it was a fortnight or something at Mum's, and then he, he said that we'd have to go and live at Greenford. Yeah. And I followed suit. I said, all right. Really, we could have stayed at my Mum's, so we had more room. Yeah. I think he decided he needed to go there and probably give us some more money. Yeah. Which since then I've got annoyed when I've got older and thought what he'd done. And so he hadn't done anything. Well, because he made the decision to move. Yes. Mm. Well, especially as she got married when she knew he was going to be discharged, I think, in the May. Oh, see. She, she, so she, so sorry, so Sybil got the house? Yeah, she was at home, you see, and then she right. got Ted. Yeah. She, she got friendly with Ted, and they got married, and I think she wanted to get him in. I don't know whether she thought that uh, Eric, perhaps Eric wouldn't have him. Yeah. If she got married after, I don't know. Right. He was only thinking of his mum, I think. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, so sorry. So you you moved to a, another house. Six three three Greenford Road. Right, which was which was his mum's house. His mum's house, yes. All oh, right. Do, do you know when his mum died? Was it long after? Or? I don't remember now. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I know it was a very cold winter. Right. A lot of, a lot of uh, snow. Right. So it was around that time. Well, that, well, I can't remember. What, um, okay. And um, when Granddad left the RAF, mm. was he? He was. Was he still paid by the RAF? I don't know. I don't think so. I wouldn't think so. Yeah. I know he hadn't. I know he told me that he hadn't got to talk, but there'd be a, a bit of a lump sum. He didn't discuss what he'd done in intelligence, and of course he didn't. Because this, this is, um, you know, this, this, I mean, this is even more confusing because I don't know that much about what he did in the RAF. No, neither do I, really. But it, 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 it might be that he did work at the same time in intelligence. Yes, because he used to say, he'd go in this diary, yeah, the spots. He says. I've been to the nursery today. So the nursery must have been some name, some office that they had to go to and report to. Right. <laughs> the nursery. Yes. Nursery. 
<laughs> Still managed to get it down. And he was thrilled to know when he was them. Well, he's put it because we got married and he's written it in there. He said, it's the happiest day of my life. So that was rather nice to read that. Uh, uh, but he didn't say much when Ian was born. I think he was talking about it before he was born, but he didn't have a lot to say after he was born. Hmm. Oh, about he, what he was doing? Because then, cause he, when he came home, he told me that some of the officers had photographs of their children and that. And they looked at me and said, Hold a horrible specimen you got here. <laughs> To, to Well, I don't know whether it was to Eric, but the yeah, thing but that somebody yeah, else's, yeah. they might say it. Yeah. To, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I suppose that's how they could all survive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because um, Grandad didn't really have an officer-type background. No, he? no, he didn't. No. no his, uh, his dad, dad had brothers. Yeah. And his granddad took them to Canada, but had to bring Alex back because he was too young. Oh. So I, I said, well, how on earth could he afford the passage? So, so I don't know whether it was Eric or someone else told me that it could have been like this, that they did going from England to Australia, didn't they? Had a package. Mm -hmm. And that's to Canada. But this was to Canada. And that was Eric's... Family. His, yes, that's Eric. Yes, Eric. It, what his, his, his granddad did okay. from Air, you know. Okay. Because he used to go and stay with them, I think, in Air. Yeah. And they were only miners, so none of them were. I really what, what no. coal miners. Coal miners, yes. Okay. And I think the granddad didn't want the boys to go in that business. Oh uh, right. So he, he oh, so they went to Canada went to, to do mining because Alex couldn't stay because he was too young. Oh. But he, uh, Alex, fought in the First World War. Yes, that's when he met um, Mrs. Mossy. I forgot my name. Devonish, her name was. Her name was Devonish. 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 Yes. That's her first name. Oh no, that's, that's her. her name. That's her. Before she was married. Okay. Yes. Devonish. Huh? Funny how names just come to me like that. Yeah. And I think she was Anne. I think she was an Anne. Anne. Because her sister was Elsie. Not those names are just coming back to me. <laughs> Elsie went to Australia. And Elsie and her husband only had them. Alan, the one son that rings me up, you know, occasionally from Australia. Yeah. And... So they met, uh, and they they met, they met during the First World War. Yes, because there's a lot. I don't know whether I've got it. Lovely photograph of him in in this kilt. Oh, because he was sent home injured. I suspect so. I don't really know. Yeah. And. Because um, my dad was injured, but he, that's when he met my mum. Oh, in the First World War. Yes. And this was I, I don't know the names. Um, because I always knew his Nana Marshall. Yeah, Marshall. But I forget what. Oh, well, I did know her surname. Because sometimes if you you have to give the your mother's maiden yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have to. Uh, my Stan <laughs> won't remember it now. I could remember it once upon a time. What were their first names? I don't. I don't. Florence. Know. She was Florence. Florence, and your dad's name was Aubrey. Aubrey. Yeah, Aubrey Robert. Marshall. Aubrey Robert Marshall. Marshall. Um. Yeah, <laughs> and and your mum's name was Florence. I don't know her other name. Really yeah, other name. but she didn't have a middle name. I don't know much about mothers because uh, Alex Moira's Alex tried to do the, the you know go back to all our people. Right. Yeah. And it's, he came to a halt with my mum's people. Oh really? Yes, because I know I thought we did you know we didn't ask things very much. Yeah. And um, I'm wondering if she, her mother, because her father was a merchant seaman. Yeah. And when he came to London, he, he was seeing another woman, yeah. and uh, Nan didn't want anything to do with him. Yeah. So perhaps it had been something when they were younger. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 
because I think she was put in a children's home and her, her auntie came and looked after her. And oh. I think she ran away. Oh. Do you know which children's home? No, it would be more like um, Middlesbrough, up that part of the world. Is that where they're from? Well, I think it's Middlesbrough. Where oh, she came from. I didn't know that. Because um, that's where she met um, my dad, I think, in the hospital up there. In Middlesbrough? I'm sure it was Middlesbrough, one of the northern places. Oh. But as I say, Alex came to a, a halt, he couldn't get any further with um, my mum's With that mom. side of the family? Yeah. I mean, you could do if you go like they do on the television. Yeah, so yeah, you go through the records. Course, and, yeah. Her name, his name's Alex as well as um, yeah. Eric's dad's name. Yeah. And then after, it's funny because after, after the war, so just jumping, yes. jumping back again. That um, the, the just just with with Eric, mm -hmm. Dad was saying that he he only remembered lately that that Eric would show Dad show in things that were just you couldn't quite put your finger on them, but they were just slightly odd. I don't yes. know if you ever mentioned this, but it's like um, he'd say things like, "Oh, if you're on a train platform and you want to know when someone's going to get on a train, yeah. all, all you have to do is to turn your back, but you know when the train's coming in because the people move forward." And yeah. it's just like these little tips thing, that yeah, were yeah, just yeah. about that's tailing that's, people. That's how he. Yeah, that's how he talked to. Him. Yeah. And he took him to Somerset House. Oh, yeah. Because Ian was a little boy, wouldn't know how Father Christmas knew. So he thought that was an idea, didn't it? And uh, Eric took, took him to Somerset House, and then they found out that my mum was celebrating the birthday two days too early. <laughs> so that's how he could say to Ian, that's how Father Christmas knows where you all are. <laughs> That was a way of <coughs> showing him too that the, that, that you know it, that was there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I think sometimes your granddad was quite uh, uh, I'd say cruel to him because he didn't get on academically like your granddad was capable of doing. Yeah. I think that it's got to him sometimes. Yeah. But then he would he it was ever so good. Eric would go with him to the schools. Yeah. And uh, and want to know why. And they they interviewed your dad in one of the schools because they wanted to, I think they wanted to know why he hadn't got on. Yeah. Mm. But uh, he just wanted. You see, we're not, we weren't all like uh, granddad. And I don't think he was. Because Jean comes along and she was a lot brighter. So I don't think it was fair sometimes with Ian. Yeah. Because some of the time I said oh, he was jealous, I think, of Ian. Yeah. When he came home and found that little boy there. Yeah. I didn't know at the time, but later on I thought, oh, he was jealous. Yeah. So I was just coming home from the war and there was some, someone else that I was loving and his grandparents were loving, and my great-grandma was there as well. Oh, that's another mystery. What's that? She was called Mater. And sorry, this is great-grandmother on this Eric's side? No, on my on side. On your side? Okay. I got a great-great-grandfather who married off now her name. Well, whether she was he was ever married to the previous woman we don't know right and this is sorry this is the the, the grandfather of my dad's of your dad's yes, so my dad's i've forgotten his name not florence uh it's florence and no it's not my mum's at all it's de my dad's son right right and um aubrey aubrey that's right aubrey yeah robert <laughs> and uh, I, mean, I don't know whether he was a robert he's my great grand would be my great grandfather then wouldn't he Yes. He was in the... But not due... Oh, I don't know. I've got to think what he did to me. I don't know. Mm. Was, 
There's a mystery with their names. Oh, really? Because <laughs> the ones, because some, some of them went abroad to Canada as well from our side. Because oh. my granddad was Robert yeah. Marshall, and there was a William Marshall, and that was an uncle that I could call uncle, was his brother. And he was twice the size of my granddad. Bit, a bit like Ben, you know, it's yeah, Ben yeah. big, but I don't think he's too, like, twice the size of the others. Yeah. My granddad was quite slight. And then we heard that they'd got a name Cousin. So, when he, my What, is this as a surname? Yes, yes. Okay. So how and why, we don't know. Yeah. And then he gets... Not jury service, it's something like that, something in the, my great granddad did. Yeah. And he meets this, this other woman, whether his first wife had died and whether he'd never married her, I don't know. Yeah. But he was supposed to be the illegitimate, illegitimate? Yeah. Illegitimate? <laughs> it's the teeth, the illegitimate. Thank you, I can't say illegitimate. Son of the Earl of Jersey. Now that's what we've that's the little talk that we get we used to have. <laughs> oh my goodness. With my mum and Yeah. So what year would that have been then? Well no. Um, sort of going back to the late eighteen hundreds, aren't we there? Well yeah, I'll just try and think out when my dad was born. It would be in the late eighteen hundreds, wouldn't it? In the nine hundreds. Yeah. Cause I, or, or even nineteen hundred. Yeah. Because he went into the war, but he altered his age. He went, uh, told a lie, he went in younger than... Younger your dad did, yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey Marshall. Yes, he did. God. I can't remember now, I did know it, but that's yeah, all I've yeah. forgotten. Yeah, yeah. And all this tittle-tattle, I'm trying to think how... Because we, we thought, thought it was funny to be a cousin. Whether it was a, a cousin in America... Yeah. ...that had written... Yeah. And we wondered if they'd taken... The mother's name. Yeah. His first wife. Whether, whether we all said whether he ever married her, we don't know. Yeah. But then he met this other woman. Doing, oh, not jury service. They mention it sometimes what they're doing. Yeah. He met her yeah. and married her, and then she wrote to my mum. That was, I think it was during the war, just before it, yeah. saying. That she got room that she could come and live with them, because her housekeeper, she had a housekeeper, was getting on a bit. Yeah. And she was going to move and live with her sister. Right. So grandma could we called her grandma? I did, didn't we? Grandma could oh. look after herself, so she wanted if she could come and stay at my oh. mum's place. Yeah. So I expect that's where all this came from. To my mum, that the legitimate, legitimate touch child of. Yeah. The Earl of Jersey. We were hoping, I think, that um, Alex, uh, Moira's son, yeah. could have found something, but I don't think he did. Right. If he had to stein it, he'd have to delve further, but yeah. he hadn't got the time yeah, yeah. to do what they do on the television. Yeah, yeah. It came to a standstill with my mum. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then... Um, um, I expect he was an illegitimate, illegitimate <laughs> child, yeah, naturally, of the Earl of That did happen, you see, lots yeah, of that happened. Yeah, I think that happened a lot on, on Mum's family, two generations back. Oh, yes, yeah, she's just heard, did not she, too? Oh, you heard about that, yeah. Her brother, yeah, was quite it? quite a story, oh, she didn't yeah. know her mum. Yeah. Was it her yeah. or her mum was sent to her home? Yeah, her mum... Um, no, sent to it, two of her brothers. The brothers went to the home, didn't they? Yeah, because they were blind. She she, she fell blind. Yes. Well, she didn't, mum, my mum Vera didn't know about any of this. No. She was always told that they'd gone missing in the war. Um, but actually, when when her mum went blind, basically the authorities yeah took took her two sons away, basically, and put them in a home. Um. So this woman who got in touch, yes, had managed to track. It was her she, dad. She traced, yes, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, she traced it 
back and uh, found the home and went through the home's records. Um, and because she didn't know, you know, that he'd had a mum and dad, uh, you know, a natural mum and dad. Oh. Um, and it's it's all come out. Oh, that, yes. You know, literally. It's surprising. With this it? research that, you know, that she had to give them up. Yeah. But just piecing together bits of what he said, he did meet with them after, you know, when they'd, he'd grown up. Oh, that's right. There's a member of Vera saying yeah. he'd come home and yeah. found them or yeah. they'd found him. Yeah. Or something or other. Yeah. Yeah. But it was funny because it meant that things that she was told suddenly made sense. Yes, and some of it wasn't right, you see, was it? Yeah, I think her sister, your know, mum's sister, was um, uh, sort of disapproving that this had happened. Because oh. um, mum remembered this, she just, out of the blue, remembered this very specific row. When she was about 14, 14. she was a bit, you know... She probably wouldn't know what it was all about. Yeah, exactly. There was a a row, that's right. Yeah, and basically, I can't can't remember the context of it, but the... The sister didn't approve of what happened. Well, yeah, the sister, something was basically... The the, the mum said, oh, well, mum, you know, uh, mum's a good mother. It was something along the lines of mum's a good mother, and her sister, in the heat of the row, said, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. And then she remembered her mum's just suddenly closing the conversation, just saying, well, yeah, she didn't want we're not going to talk anymore. Be, no, she didn't want to be involved anymore. <laughs> but she didn't know what any of that meant. No. Because one, <coughs> one little brother was run over, wasn't he? Didn't yeah. he jump on the back of a... On a train. Oh, one, oh, I, was, the, yeah. oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The, the, there was one where, um, uh, yeah, a brother had... had it might have been a shock for a... But, it's incredible what her mum used to do. Yeah, the blind. Yeah, yeah. Knit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when um when you were clearing out grand was it when you were clearing out granddad's stuff that you found the gun? What was that? Yes. What, what was it two guns or one? No, one gun and and an awful knife. And I what? think I handed the knife into the police station. Yeah. But he took the, the gun to pieces. Right. He unscrewed it all. And oh, the policeman? No. Oh, the, the granddad? Grand, uh, yeah, the, no, you, your granddad showed it to me before he died. And I said, well, you'd better get rid of that. It was a lovely, neat little gun. Yeah. And he took it to bits. In front of you? Yeah. yeah well, so he knew how to t- take a gun apart? He must have done, yeah. Or was it like a handgun? Yeah, the, the little tiny one, I think it was a German one. I think. A, a Luger? Was that? I don't Dad? really remember now. Well, he probably would know and tell yeah, me it didn't yeah. make sense to me. Yeah. But he knew how to dismantle it. 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 Yeah. Where did he keep it? Did he keep it under in a box or something? He just kept it in his room. Half the things I didn't know <laughs> what he got. <laughs> and, uh, Where was the knife? I don't know. He got that there. What, 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 in the office? Was it? Well, I think he got it at home. What, in the bedroom? Yeah, yeah. somewhere about. He'd shown it to me. And so when he'd gone, I took that to the police station. Oh, see. Right. <laughs> when you could hand in things, you know. Yeah, yeah. But the, the gun he dismantled, and um, I think I put bits in different litter boxes when I went out. <laughs> 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 This must have been, what, the 1988s, around then? Well, it was when we moved to um, Castle Door, Swindon, yes. Yeah. Oh, it was when you moved? Swindon, yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you don't think he... Um, that he did, did any work after the war? No, for I don't, hush, don't hush. think so. Uh, but I know when... I don't know, it's in here too, that he went up to London once or twice, to, so I don't know who he met in London. He had yeah. to go to office in London. Yeah. It was probably to do with what he was doing. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Yeah. I never asked him. Like we, yeah. So yeah. He had to learn, didn't he, whatever he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything else anywhere else that refers to the nursery. I wonder, you know, maybe yeah, it's all coming yeah, out. Yeah, we ever put in there? Tended the 
the nursery. Got to be at the nursery tomorrow morning at the time, you know. That must have been like the headquarters. I don't know yeah. why he called it the nursery. It must have been special. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I said, I was like oh, what a proper nursery with a baby in it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're well, gardening nursery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, nursery garden centre. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's really helpful. Yeah. Thanks.